You're listening to Drummer Daily, the only daily podcast dedicated just to drummers for a free video series explaining how you can become rock solid at playing drums with a click track in just two weeks in as little as 20 minutes per day. Visit boomclick.net. Hey there, welcome back again to the start of another awesome week of Drummer Daily. I did some Christmas shopping today. Um, This is being recorded a couple of weeks before Christmas Day. Right now, I did some Christmas shopping today. Um, I am sitting inside and it's dreary uh, outside. I'm freezing to death in my own house. it's like 50 degrees outside, but I think my body knows that it's winter time. And it's like, whatever, I don't care how it feels outside. I'm going to be cold today. So I'm feeling very cold. Um, but that has nothing to do with drumming other than I guess you don't probably want to play drums if you are freezing cold. Um, cause that is not fun. I've done that before. Uh, so today I thought we would talk about uh, we'd have a come to Jesus moment as, uh, as, uh, people in the South might say down here. Uh, what that means is this, we're going to have a serious talk today. Um, I, let me just say this two things. So I probably, I'm, I, this is not going to be a podcast where I bash any other drummers. Cause I don't think that's constr- helpful. I don't think, uh, I don't have feelings that would, uh, it wouldn't be honest for me to bash other drummers anyway, because I don't I don't have those feelings towards other drummers. But I just want to kind of have a, a hopefully maybe a gut check for you and 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 call you out on some things if you're pursuing certain things as a drummer. Um, so my biggest thing uh, that I've noticed is this: I uh, if you're anything like me, uh, when I go on Instagram and I hit that little explore button, the little search. Uh, button at the bottom of the the thing there uh, and it takes me to a bunch of videos or photos that I might like of mine if you're anything like me uh yours too is filled with drum videos guys playing drums drum covers drum this everything drumming you can imagine um so what I see a lot of drum videos and I watch a lot of drum videos and um I there's a uh, a bunch of like online, you know, learning you can do for drumming. And, you know, obviously I have, I have a product that's online learning for drumming. So I'm definitely not knocking, uh, that, that concept. Um, but I'm more talking about drum covers, online videos, etc. Um, if you were watching those things for entertainment and just enjoy what you're seeing, uh, that's awesome. In fact, I do that. That's what I do. I love watching other people play drums and I, th- I, use, I think it's entertaining. I enjoy watching it. Um, but if you are basing, if you are learning from these, some of these sources, these guys just going nuts, crazy, these professionally shot, you know, um, multi-camera drum cover videos, if you're trying to learn anything from those or want to mimic anything from those, um, then I hope that you are okay with maybe if you're lucky years down the road, there still being a market for guys, you know, a professional market for, uh, you know, uploading drum videos to YouTube or whatever. If you want to be a professional drummer, that's of course, that's assuming you want to be a professional drummer. Um, I know that most people who listen to this podcast either fall into two camps. A lot of guys either uh, you're either you're either a professional you, you either would like to be a professional drummer, um, in which case what I'm saying hopefully applies to you, or you don't necessarily uh, see it in your future or your plans to become a professional drummer, but maybe you play at church and uh, you have the aspiration to be a you know professional quality you know level you know at least solid drummer who uh, when you play at church on Sundays or whatever it is, the regular thing that you do, or even if you're in a band, you you do have a desire and an aspiration to uh, be a solid professional uh, type of, uh, of influence and presence in the musical situation you're in. So if you have a dream of becoming a YouTube star playing drums, then definitely do not listen to my advice right now. 
um, because I'm talking to those of us who want to be professional drummers, want to get paying gigs, want to be called into the studio, want to go on tour, want to um, be great worship leaders at our churches, whatever that thing is, that's what I'm, that, that, that's who I'm talking to right now. So basically here's kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, I, I think I've mentioned recently, I, I, I read a lot of, uh, uh, like business books, uh, other types of, you know, personal development books, things like that. And, and the thing that I've learned over and over again is, um, if you want to be, I think, uh, you know, there's, I've heard this said before, like if you, if you want to be like, for example, if you would like to, uh, make, you know, become rich someday or whatever, if you want to be rich, you should find rich people and then do what they do. Uh, now I don't mean unethical things, but I mean the, the habits they have. Um, there's like that book, The Millionaire Next Door, that talks about here are the habits of people. This guy studied a bunch of millionaires. Here's what they do um, every day, their habits uh, with with handling their finances, handling their business, whatever it is. Here's what they do. Um, and uh, it might be counterintuitive, but here's what they do. And so if you would like to become become wealthy, for example, you should do some of those, develop some of those habits. Um the same way, um, drummers, professional drummers, if you want to be a professional touring or studio drummer, you should find some professional touring or studio drummers and then mimic what they do. Don't mimic or don't learn all of these chops and all this craziness from a guy who's doing, you know, drum covers on YouTube. Um, and then at the same time thinking that's going to develop your your playing in a way that's going to be beneficial to you um, in the studio. Um, I've had, uh, I think, a, a great career as far as my own perspective goes in playing drums, but I am technically not a very good drummer. And I mean, from like, you know, I can't play all these crazy chops. I don't have, I can't do all that stuff, but I do love watching all that stuff still. Um, so I guess the point of today's podcast is this, uh, find a, an archetype or a, a role model, no matter how old you are, I still have them myself, but find a role model, a, someone to look up to that plays the way that you would like to play or is in a career path or, or or role as a drummer is doing what you would like to be doing and then and then model your playing i'm not saying copy their playing but model the things you know what are the three things that this guy that you're that's your role model what are the three things that he's good at you should try to be good at those three things as well um, you don't want to be a carbon copy of anybody but you you can find uh, positive traits that are worth repeating and worth having um, and so I would hope that, uh, we can all have someone like that in our lives or find someone like that, like look up to someone, uh, and, and like I said, if you're kind of in my world here, you're, you're listening to this podcast, I hope you're the type of person. I think, I think I, I'm trying to, I want to build a tribe of people. I want us to be a, a community of drummers who pursue, uh, being solid drummers, uh, you know, doing the things that actually get paying gigs, not being an unemployed drummer who likes to just post YouTube videos all the time. Um, and before you email me, yes, I know I post Instagram videos of my own playing all the time. Uh, so I'm definitely not saying don't, uh, don't do those things. Uh, just have a healthy perspective if you are doing those things. Um, if you want to just learn a couple of licks to, you know, impress your friends, uh, on the drums, uh, that some of these videos might be a good place to go. Not my videos, by the way, <laughs> other people's videos. Um, but, uh, I, I post my videos as a way to hopefully inspire drummers to, uh, approach drumming a different way. Um, and I uh, hope that is what it does for you. Um, and that's why I did this podcast incidentally is that I want it to be something that, um, influences drummers in a way that is maybe different than what, uh, you know, the the mainstream drumming world kind of uh kind of promotes which is just you know more 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 notes more playing faster you know more complicated everything uh i'm more of the less is more kind of guy uh, and if that's you you're in the right place and if you're not stick around you might get your mind changed uh, <laughs> all right anyway that's it for today i guess my main point is Find someone who's doing what you want to do and then do what they do. Don't try to become a studio drummer by copying 
drum cover videos on YouTube. All right, I hope I didn't make you too mad. Please email me if um, I did. All right, I will talk to you again tomorrow. That's it. Thanks for listening. Bye.